it all started with the morning session which witnessed the passing of the Uganda Human Organ Donation and Tissue Transplant Bill 2021 seeking to regulate the human organ donation and tissue transplant in Uganda. The session was chaired by Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Tayebwa who adjourned the House to prepare for a session of Yala elections. Chair, to thank the entire August House. This has not been an easy bill. It is a bill that needs deep reading and understanding and consideration, and I don't take it for granted. Thank you. Barely 10 minutes after the Deputy Speaker's adjournment, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, bounced in to chair the opening session for the election of Uganda's representatives into Iyala Assembly. At this point, the members of the National Unity Platform, who had attended the first session with Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa, did not return, the Noop Wink having unanimously agreed to boycott the Iyala elections. Butambala Woman Member of Parliament Aisha Kabanda, a member of Noop, showed up for the session but later walked out before Speaker Anita Among suspended the House for three minutes. Once we begin the campaign, I have members who have asked for permission to vote early. I have their list here. I will forward the list to the clerk. Despite the members of parliament not objecting to the speaker amongst guidance to allow some members to vote early, the candidates were not briefed and had no consent of the decision. As campaigns were busy taking place at the parliament chambers, a box containing already ticked votes was intercepted, which caused a bit of commotion, leading to verbal exchange between security and Aringa South member of parliament, Alion Odira. <laughs> We shall not set that precedence in Parliament of Uganda. We are not going to rig. And members are still campaigning. Voting is taking place here. How? 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 In the process of the heated campaigns, Bukimbiri County Member of Parliament, Eddie Quizera, collapsed and was taken to an isolated area to receive further attention. Despite the Parliament rules of procedure allowing members of Parliament to stamp feet as means of appreciation, clapping, chanting and other various expressions of support dominated the campaigns. The candidates were seen aiming at fully convincing the electorate as some of the contestants introduced unique tactics in soliciting for votes from the legislators. For Iyala can you do, can do, can do. And I will make sure that every member of parliament makes it into the Toyota parliament. Murangira Ambrose, a deaf candidate, used the opportunity to train the members of parliament sign language interpretation. I'll teach you just three signs, three signs. The first, when we are clapping, this is how we clap. Yeah. Secondly, yes, this is how we sign yes. Yes. DP's Gerard Siranda was another man to watch whose campaign attracted splashing of both symbols of DP and NRM party concurrently as a sign of showcasing the recent agreement between DP and NRM party to promote democracy in Uganda. Mr. Saranda, welcome. You have maximum of seven minutes of presenting the manifesto. The first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Kadaga, was in attendance to witness the elections of Uganda's representatives into the Iyala Assembly. Despite a boycott by the National Unity Party members, the impact remained minimal as the voter turn-up was overwhelmingly high since other opposition legislators participated in the process, 
Some members of parliament were seen standing in order to witness the process. <laughs> the position of NOPE to shun the elections is a subject of justification as the August House seemed not to mind their absence. Because we are several opposition parties in parliament and of which he wanted to push NRM on the wall. So how will NRM notice my presence or notice my, 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 my vote when I don't participate in the process? In an interview with UBC TV, former Prime Minister of Uganda, also Presidential Special Envoy, Ruhakana Rugunda, described NOPE's actions to boycott the Iyala elections as selfish interests of not looking beyond the political party but rather forgetting the roles as expected from the electorate. For the interests of the country, they should avoid the danger of being too narrow, uh, too narrow in terms of looking just at their parties or other small interests and take into account the broad interests. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.